Hi, my name is Jamie Landman from the Department of Urology at UC Irvine, and we are truly passionate about better kidney surgery. Our department also has a long history of amazing innovation that has been transformative to kidney surgery, which I'd like to share with you today. So this fellow right here, this is Gustav Simon, and he started kidney surgery in 1879 when he did the very first nephrectomy, or surgical removal of a kidney. Now this was an amazing feat, because nobody knew that you could remove a kidney before with the patient surviving on just one kidney. But remarkably, for well over 100 years, kidney surgery did not change at all. Very tiny modifications, but nothing changed until 1990. Now in 1991, this patient right here, and you can see the CT scan, with this tumor right here, as highlighted in red, presented to a hospital, and Dr. Ralph Clayman and his team changed Gustav Simon's perspective on kidney surgery forever. Now this team, depicted right here back in 1990, found this tumor, identified it, and for the first time changed kidney surgery so that it didn't require a big open incision. This is the kind of incision that kept people in the hospital for five to seven days, took about three months to recover from, and caused a tremendous amount of pain. In contrast, they used laparoscopy, or a small telescope with tiny incisions, and right here, you can see, this is the exact same patient, the first patient who ever had a laparoscopic nephrectomy, and she has a little quarter on her abdomen there where the first incisions were made. And these tiny incisions allowed her to recover very quickly with a fraction of the pain, and she got out of the hospital much faster and got back to full activity much more quickly. So that little tumor over there on the right, for the first time, was managed in a way that was much less invasive. And that was thanks to Dr. Ralph Clayman and his team, who are currently now at UC Irvine. So while in 1999, Dr. Clayman and his team introduced this remarkable innovation, Dr. Clayman, myself, and a team worked again to redefine what minimally invasive kidney surgery is all about. We introduced kidney ablative surgery at that time and have been one of the teams that have moved this technology forward more than any other. Now here you can see in this video a series of needles enter a kidney tumor and using very cold energy the tumor is destroyed. Remarkably, the same tumor that you see all the way on your right, which initially required big open surgery, which was transformed to laparoscopic surgery, is now commonly done with small needles as an outpatient procedure, meaning the same person who had that tumor could go home the same day, eat dinner with their family at home, and sleep in their own bed with much less risk of complications and a very high efficacy rate. Again, transforming renal surgery. As remarkable as these ablation technologies are, we were further transformative to managing small kidney tumors when our team worked with industry to create this probe. As you can see, this probe allows this needle to go through it, and we are able to now biopsy small tumors in the office under local anesthesia. What does that do? We now are able to personalize medicine, so instead of treating all tumors the same, we treat tumors specific to the patient and allow patients much more precise medicine. What else does that mean? Nationally, 24% of small masses that are operated on are totally unnecessary in that they're not cancers. They're utterly benign and can probably wa be watched for the lifetime of the patients. We at UC Irvine have almost eliminated that unnecessary surgery with this technology which we evolved in our laboratory. So, do we have a passion for innovation? Absolutely yes. When Gustav Simon introduced the nephrectomy over 100 years ago, that was a terrific innovation. When Dr. Clayman and his team introduced the laparoscopic nephrectomy, that changed things forever. And that technology is still being used today. However, we further evolved the technology such that we could use ablation probes. And in 1999, we started doing this, further minimizing the invasiveness of kidney surgery and allowing patients to benefit from these great technologies. Again, in 2015, we've changed things, and we've almost eliminated one quarter of the kidney surgeries at UC Irvine because they were utterly unnecessary. And by better patient selection, we're able to give real personalized medicine to patients with these small renal tumors. Now, the real fun part is where are we going? In 2016 and beyond, we have projects that include molecular biology where we're hopeful to further improve patient selection and hopefully one day eliminate the very surgery that we've been improving for years. Our passion is not limited to the surgeons of today, and we have a real vision for the future and for tomorrow. And we want to engender the same passion we have in the surgeons of tomorrow. Here you can see a bunch of middle school students, and they come and they work in our laboratory and they learn about the technology of today, and we inspire them 
to develop the technology of tomorrow. We have similar programs right here with our summer surgery program where high school students come and do a surgical program for the entire summer and we really try to engender a sense of innovation and a passion for medicine. And possibly our most ambitious project is right here. These are our summer surgeons. So these are some really highly qualified high school students, absolutely brilliant, who are highly selected. They come learn anatomy, they get to observe surgery, and each one of them after only two weeks is empowered to create their own innovations. And these are really utterly remarkable. And even we were shocked by how amazing these, uh, these students have performed over the past few years. Finally, we want to thank you, the community. We engage you quite often at our many events. And you've been extremely supportive and kind to our department. We thank you for that. And we hope that we'll be able to work together as partners to ensure a brighter future for patients with kidney disease and really almost eliminate the need for kidney surgery.